forecast. All right, we are back about a quarter after 12 here. And once again, we start off with Threat Tracker, one of our tools we use to kind of give you a heads up if we have any weather threats coming in. And we actually do today. Uh, we have the possibility not only of rain and some thunderstorms, but maybe some strong thunderstorms later this afternoon through early tonight. Uh, right now, it looks like our window's kind of small in the metro to see that, and it's probably going to be right during the early evening hours. The threat would push off to the south and east pretty quick, and then it gets cooler as winds swing around to the north, and we'll see lingering showers back in, although I don't really see too many problems with that. All right, the cloud deck continues to lower. Gray skies overhead. They're fairly thick clouds, but they're not hurting temperatures a whole lot. We're up to 65 this hour with south winds at 17, so the air mass is uh, fairly warm. Uh, we're not looking at the humidity too high yet, so we're going to probably see that number come up as the front approaches kind of squeezes the air and helps to fuel the showers and storms a little bit later on. Otherwise, most of our viewing area is still dry as expected. Right now it's up to 67 in Plattsmouth, Lincoln, south to Beatrice at 68. A little bit cooler back here to the northwest, so there's the front. You can see it's moved through Norfolk and Wayne, uh, lower 50s there. Columbus, you're still on the warm side of that. So uh, that's going to be something we track because once that goes by, the severe weather threat uh, greatly diminishes. But until then, you can see a lot of us, we have several hours of opportunity for that, especially as that gets closer toward the heating of the day by about 4 or 5 o'clock here. All right, as we start off with our street level mapping on our exclusive weather alert Viper HD radar and satellite. This time we're looking at satellite. Over the city there, just lots of clouds. Really, the entire metro socked in, and most of eastern Nebraska, western Iowa, and northwestern Missouri kind of dealing with the same thing. Again, the front's back up through here, northeastern and central Nebraska. A couple showers trying to go around Grand Island. Otherwise, out ahead of that, we've got a little bit of rain. Parts of uh, southern Iowa, northwestern Missouri. We showed you this at the top of the show. Heavier storms now. Oklahoma City up toward Tulsa, uh, scattered through the Ozarks of Arkansas, Missouri, all the way up toward Peoria, Illinois. And then back on the cold side of this, we got a lot of snow. We actually had blizzard warnings this morning through parts of Wyoming. Things seem to be calming down there. And kind of in between it all, you can see a large area right now of dry conditions. Uh, that's probably going to hold true to form for a while. But once again, uh, the chance of rain and some stronger storms will increase later on this afternoon. Uh, we could actually see a few showers develop out ahead of that main weather threat. Through the afternoon, you'll notice occasionally we get a little bit of green. And then a lot of our latest information as of this morning through even early this afternoon, kind of developing the heaviest weather back to the south and east of us. Uh, maybe a secondary little area of some showers, some isolated thunder coming through tonight, and then cold rain moving back down across the area, it looks like, later tonight on into tomorrow. So we have several opportunities. The big concern is going to be the initial one late this afternoon, though. You'll notice we're still right on the edge of that slight risk. Uh, we could see strong winds, hail, slight chance of a tornado, especially south of Omaha, and then I think those risks become greater where we have an enhanced risk for severe weather uh, down through the arc latex of Texas, Arkansas, and Louisiana. So we'll watch that again. It's not a guarantee we're going to see it. And as I was saying, we've kind of got that small window between about 4 and 7 o'clock. Otherwise, the nasty weather threats move east. It stays windy and warm. We're still going to push towards 75 despite the clouds. Winds turn around to the north, bringing in cooler conditions tonight with a few leftover showers at about 45. And then showers, kind of breezy, cooler tomorrow at 55. Uh, the cool day looks to be Friday. May start off with the sprinkler flurry there. Otherwise, a high of 48 turns around quickly for us Saturday up to 60 and then back to 74 as we head towards Sunday. And just a reminder, with that storm threat in the forecast, may not be a bad idea to download Storm Shield to your smartphone. A great weather app to have to deal with any kind of spring-like weather threats. Again, if we get under a watch or warning, you'll have that notification sent to you. And you can also kind of track the action on your radar with that particular app as well. So Matt, hopefully you don't need it today, but there's a chance again from Omaha down in the south. And Chancery putting it to good use.